Hello and welcome to Mint. I am Sunira Tandon. In today's edition of From the Newsroom, we are joined by Aman Malik. Welcome to the show, Aman. Hi, Sunira. We are also joined over the phone by Professor Sudhir Pawar of University of Lucknow. Welcome to the show, sir. Please, please. The Junior Minister of Fertilizer, Shrikant Kumar Jaina, has asked the government to review the prices of non-urea fertilizers on a monthly basis to check its rising prices. So, Aman, can you tell us what exactly has the minister asked of the government? Sunita, the minister basically wants prices to be reviewed and checked every month. Now, to be sure, these prices are deregulated, so they are market determined. Having said that, he wants to know what the cost of procuring these fertilizers is month on month, because these fertilizers are mostly imported. Here we are talking about fertilizers like diammonium phosphate, muriate of potash, and certain uh, complex fertilizers, so-called complex fertilizers. What has happened is that the uh, market price, the MRP of these fertilizers has spiraled uh, two and a half to three times since April 2010 when their prices were freed. And uh, this is not the first time that, uh, that Shrikant Jaina has actually uh, red flagged this particular issue. This is actually the third note in the last uh, one month that we have been reporting on and other uh, uh, media houses have, have, have also reported on this particular thing. Uh, and it, it's an issue that's actually caught the government in a bind. And uh, uh, Jaina is basically uh, trying to red flag that particular issue uh, uh, for the good of the country and maybe for his own political capital. Mr. Pawar, can you tell us how has the increase in non-urea fertilizer prices impacted farmers? The rise in non-urea prices, if you remember, government has come forward with the NBS, nutrient-based subsidy schemes. The objective of that scheme was to rationalize the use of urea as well and DAP, just to maintain the appropriate balance of nitrogenous and phosphatic fertilizer in the soil. With increase in the DAP prices, what happened, it has tapered down the demand of DAP as well as the other phosphatic fertilizer, and it resulted into the disbalanced use of urea and this phosphatic fertilizer. This year, one phenomenal increase in the in use of urea in Western UP, in rice, sugarcane, etc., because of the price of DAP is almost unbearable for the farmers. So there are the two impacts. One is disbalanced use or the uh, fallacy or the failure of the NBS policy of the central government, and the second one is tapered down demand of this DAP fertilizer. I mean, given that the subsidies and fertilizers have spiraled over the last few years, how has it impacted the exchequer? It's had a major impact on the exchequer. In fact, uh, in 2008-9, the subsidies went up, uh, they, they crossed the 1 lakh crore mark. And even uh, as far as last year, if you look at the budget uh, figures, subsidies were in the range of 65-70 thousand crores. And this is, if you do not take into account about 20 to 25 thousand crores, which is actually carried forward every year. So in effect, your subsidy is still around 80 to 90 thousand crores or thereabouts. Uh, the government has been struggling to cap the subsidy. Uh, in February uh, and in March, the government actually successively reduced the subsidy it offers on non-urea fertilizers twice. Uh, whether this will help or not is likely to be seen uh, only in the, the budget uh, figures as and when they come next year or the advanced budget figures as, as they come in the, towards the third quarter. Uh, but my own understanding from the, the discussions I've been having with people in the government is that the subsidy figures will hold and not come down because volume sales have actually gone up. And that is because companies find it more profitable to push these fertilizers into the market post uh, deregulation uh, because they're obviously generating more profits out of them now. Certainly. Uh, thanks for your insights, Aman. Thanks, Sarita. Thanks for joining us, Professor Pawar. Yeah. On that note, we end today's show. Thanks and stay tuned for more.